Hello YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, welcome to another food review with me John. Today I'm going to be doing another ramen review. This time it's another Paldo brand. Just knocked over Al again. You know what Al? You're going to be up here for right now. Anyway, back to the review. This is the Volnok Ramen. It is a sweet and spicy octopus flavored. You see a little octopus guy on the package. And these are pan stir fried noodles. Um, you boil up the noodles, you get rid of most of the water, you put in all the, the seasonings and a sauce packet, and you put it back in the pot. And you kind of just fry it up a little bit uh, for about 30 seconds. But this is another spicy ramen that I'm going to review um, and tell you exactly where I think it belongs in the rankings of spiciness and how good it tastes and all that stuff. Give it a rating. And um, yeah, that's what I do here. So this one, it actually gives you suggestions of what to add. It says, for better taste, add green onion, onion, red pepper, garlic, and sesame oil. Well, I don't have any green onion. I have some red onion that I put in here. I have some red pepper I put in here. Some garlic I put in here. And I have some sesame oil I put in here. So, no green onion. And it says just regular onion, but I put red onion because that's the onion I had in the fridge right now. So, we're going to taste all that as well. Here we go. Here's what the ramen looks like. And it's kind of all sticking together since it was cooked in the sauce, but if I mix it up a little bit, it'll loosen. And here, let's see. How spicy is this Bolnock Paldo brand ramen? Here we go. Definitely has some kick to it. Not overwhelming. Well, let's see how it builds. <clears throat> Alright. The heat's getting to the back of my throat now. Still not overwhelming. The flavor, I do taste some sweetness to it. You know, octopus and squid are kind of like light flavor, so it's hard for me to really decipher if this tastes like, like octopus or squid. Let me see the ingredients in here. The sauce has fructose, water, red pepper, soy, garlic, sugar, salt, maldextrin, octopus extract. Okay, so there is octopus extract in the sauce. So it's pretty good. The, the the spiciness is like a sweet spice. In fact, on the on the label you can see it says irresistibly sweet spicy taste. So as advertised, it is sweet, it is spicy, it's pretty good. I can't really tell you that it tastes a lot like squid though. It's just a uh, I don't know, just the sweet and spicy, a lot of pepper, maybe a hint of seafoodiness to it. Overall, I like this. I would definitely eat it again. I would get it again. 
And if you like a good spicy ramen that's not overwhelmingly spicy, but still has some good flavor to it, I would just really recommend the Bolnock Paldo Ramen. Maybe if you had some like a real squid or octopus on hand, grill it up, throw in there, it would enhance that flavor and uh, you have more of a complete meal here. But uh, I try not to add too much stuff when I'm doing reviews for, for these ramens unless it's a special one. Or in this case, it's actually said in the instructions to add these. But uh, definitely going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. I think you'd enjoy it too. So guys, what do you do when you have something spicy and you need to cool down? So most people say like milk. My favorite thing to cool down though is beer. And what better to wash down a Korean ramen than a beer that says hashtag America on it. Well that's exactly what I'm going to be reviewing next time. So, if you watch my next review, you'll definitely see that beer review for that America beer. Until then, guys. Bye.